Hello there. I did a walkthrough of Sifu. So Sifu is a fighting game where you age every time you die until you reach your 70s and then you die for good. So um when I was going into this game I I didn't I wasn't expecting much. I was thinking it was going to be a short game and then I would get through it pretty quickly in about a couple hours. Um my opinion really changed the more I played it. So when I went through it at first, um I was able to get through the hideout, um beat the beat the easy enemies and then at th at that point I, I didn't even know how to dodge, I didn't even know that much about the game. And then I was able to beat the first boss on my first try at age 40. I realized after going to the next area and I realized that my character does age doesn't reset after each hideout. So that's what I was assuming at first. So I was like, oh my goodness, this game's going to take a while to beat. Um... I then went through the first hideout again. I kept on doing it and doing it, trying to do it perfectly, trying to beat the enemies perfectly, get through each area pretty easily. But I, I realized that's pretty difficult, trying to get through everything at age 25 or less is pretty difficult. So I eventually beat the boss again and then started practicing. I pra Since I beat the boss, I'm able to practice him in the dojo kind of area. And then I kept on practicing and then I learned how to dodge properly. Um, after practicing and free training and watching a couple YouTube videos on how to beat the first boss, I eventually beat the first boss at age 23 I was happy with that that was a better age than I was expecting to do so next boss after learning from the experience I realized that it's better to do it nice and relaxed and easy and just get a feel for how to dodge and how to battle every single enemy in each area so I got better at the game. I improved my crowd control and I eventually learned about permanent skills, the skills that show up when you die. Um those skills they show up and you can pick them, pick each one. Um and they don't disappear. And they don't disappear every time you die and reset. They stay after watching a couple YouTube videos again, uh, I was able to beat the second boss at age 27. I was not expecting that. I thought it would be like 30 or 32. But after six tries, I was able to get it done at age 27. He was pretty easy. Um, in the second phase, I thought it was going to be harder, but it it wasn't too hard to do. His... his Dodging, dodging him is pretty predictable and easy to do. So, in my first tries on the third area for the third boss, the little, I don't know, the three pole kind of looking weapon she has that bends at each point. Um, and so she has two phases and, um, her first phase was such a pain to deal with. Um, at first, I was like, how is this even possible? Then after watching a YouTube video, I realized you need to dodge him, dodge her and then run away. Then dodge her at specific points and then hit her, slowly eating away at her health. So I beat her eventually. I don't know how many tries, but I beat her at age 53. Which was a pretty old age. So 
after beating the third boss, I eventually went to the fourth boss hideout. And after getting my butt beat so many times, I realized that age 53 is not a good age to start that uh, hideout. I went back to the third boss and I eventually beat her at the age 28, which is much better than I was expecting. A lot of these bosses I did much better than I was expecting, just playing the game just a couple, maybe one or two hours every day and then uh, seeing your mistakes and practicing and eventually getting better at the game, just practice, practice, practice. It really helped me get through these bosses. Alright, so I beat the third boss at age 28. And then after that, I beat the fourth boss on the first try at age 70. Yeah, at age 70, I decided to continue at that. And I realized the next area was not going to be as fun. Because I can barely get through the whole area at age 70. So I beat her again at age 48. And instead of uh, fighting all the enemies, I went down the elevator. Since I beat her at age 70 and unlocked that uh, quick route. I eventually got to the final boss. This long journey, I eventually made it to the final boss. I beat the final boss after about seven tries, I think. Um, impressively, on the second time I tried to beat him, I got to the second uh, second phase. Um, I practiced a lot because the final boss is not like the other bosses. You can't really use your uh, special abilities. You can't really... Uh, knock him down knock him down or anything like that you have to you can knock him down but it's very difficult it's like you're going against uh, another player so it was very difficult I had to literally get a feel for his movements and learn his movements and get better and better at dodging them and then after I did that on the first phase, I basically winged it on the second phase and I was able to beat him. It was a fun game. I learned how to progress my skills, uh, practice more and get better at things. The game is very great and I would recommend it to anybody who wants to have a fighting game with a challenge. And yeah, uh, thanks for watching. It was a very enjoyable game. And I just wanted to share with you my experience of it from it. Thank you for watching. You were supposed to guard the talisman, not steal it! It's the only way to save them, Sifu! You failed to honor your oath. You are unworthy. Now, leave. He who has Kung Fu and Wu De makes the other know he can break him. His hands go out like lightning, and the other doesn't want to fight anymore.